Hi, I'm Dan Bryant, and I'm joined by my wife, Erin. We're the parents of Caroline, a wake senior, and Peter, a wake junior. Next year, our third child, Noah, will be a freshman at wake. We really like wake. <laughs> we wish we could be gathering with all of you in person at the annual RUF brunch that John Bourgeois and the RUF team host, but we're glad we can at least connect virtually. RUF and Wake Forest are adapting, like we all are, and they're continuing their great work with diligence and creativity. In addition to RUF, Aaron and I are involved with both the Wake Parents Council and the Wake Leadership and Character Program, which have allowed us to get to know some of the administration and faculty. We've seen a thoughtful commitment to building a healthy community and to creating an environment that provides Wake students countless opportunities to be challenged and to mature, all within a supportive environment. Wake Forest is unique in a variety of ways, but one of its hallmarks is the way it holds on to two key commitments simultaneously, to be a community where a wide range of diverse perspectives are encouraged to flourish, and to be a community committed to cultivating virtue, a place where we can disagree and listen and learn from each other with respect and civility, with a love of neighbor. In that sense, Wake has at the core of its vision, the desire to be a place where young women and men are maturing into servant leaders of character and wisdom, ready to serve in their time and their place. In the midst of all of this, the RUF community at Wake Forest is flourishing. We're so thankful that our two Wake children are as well. RUF is a caring community in which students can explore together the truly deep questions about God, themselves, and the meaning of life. RUF is committed to the historic Christian faith and to being a community where students can grow in their knowledge of what they believe and why they believe it, to be intentional about what it means to pursue lives of purpose and integrity, and to be thoughtful about a life of loving and serving God and neighbor and what that should look like for each of them. John, Mary Clark, and the RUF interns have loved, befriended, and challenged our kids, regularly grabbing meals or going on walks. John and the RUF team have made themselves available and offered wise counsel during key moments in our kids' lives as they've transitioned to college, gone through relationship challenges and uncertainty, and have worked to own their faith as young adults. In this important respect, RUF and WAKE really do have a shared mission to help equip students for a lifetime of excellence in service to their neighbors, to their communities. RUF seeks to fortify students in the words of the Gospel of Luke so that they grow in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man. What an important moment, culturally, socially, for our children to become more resilient, rooted in a thoughtful Christian faith. RUF is able to thrive as a ministry to continue to invest in our children and to help build this special community in no small part because of the prayers and financial support of parents. And so even though we're not able to enjoy that wonderful brunch together this year with that really good bacon and those great waffles, we would ask you to please consider supporting this wonderful RUF community. The brunch each year is a crucial fundraising moment for RUF at Wake. As parents, we want to ask you to join us in making this Thanksgiving and Christmas season a time to invest, even more generously if you're able, in the vital life-giving work of RUF at Wake. We wish you a holiday marked by the love of family and friends, even in the midst of our challenging moment. Take care and may God bless you and yours.